is kind of a bonus, I thought I would just talk to you a little bit about uh, block printing. So one of the issues that people have with doing block printing in a school setting is not so much the sharp objects. We deal with sharp objects a lot. Although admittedly, especially middle schoolers, uh, they do seem to get cut by the linoleum cutters uh, more often than not. But not all blocks are created equal. So this is a mounted battle gray linoleum block. The pluses to this is if you gouge the plate, um, you're gonna get down to wood, although gouging the plate isn't the worst thing to happen in the world. Uh, these are used primarily too to um, have some added pressure if running through a press, um, whether that be a uh, pull down press or a press that you run through. Um, there are also people who use cold press laminators as presses. Uh, a block like this runs about 391. So it's, you know, if you've got a class of 30, um, this is a little more expensive. You, I, you know, you all have probably had the uncut, or sorry, unmounted battle gray linoleum. Um, it, the backing uh, does warp. So when you're cleaning um, things off, you do have to be kind of mindful of that. By the way, um, all blocks like this, all linoleum blocks, uh, adding a little heat to it can help soften it to, to make it easier to cut. Um, it can also help press it back down into place. Um, that's not such a big deal when adults are doing uh, linoleum blocks, um, but that can be a problem when students are using it. So this usually comes in a pack of 12, you can get it in 24, things like that. Basically it breaks down to me being about $1.67 a sheet, um, which isn't too terrible when you're, when you're looking at a classroom size um, and what to do. This is a six by eight uh, that we're talking about here as well, uh, which is a pretty decent size to do a print with students, uh, especially students who they're, they're just kind of starting out. It's not too big, but it's also not too small. Then there are um, some other materials out there that um, are being used. Uh, this is a print I did um, for show. This is a, um, it's called a, it's a ready cut. So it is a softer material. Uh, the nice thing about it is you will see that I sometimes do remove parts of my plate that allows me to ensure that that is 100% white. Um, so that is something you can do, uh, it's not frowned upon. But as you can see here, I don't know if it will show in the video, it does curl a little bit, but I, I knew that when I was printing the block. Um, but this, and again, we'll, we'll talk about like that six by eight size. So a ready cut is like 488, so it is not a cheap material. It is a very nice material to um, create lines. Uh, you don't have to go very deep to get uh, great detail out of your block, but it can be more on the pricey side. The same with um, soft cut and um, I believe Blick makes some easy cut blue things. Uh, those run anywhere from 369 a block, about six by eight, to like 218 a block. Uh, so the, it, it's more on the pricey side. Again, that plus side is the fact that it does cut easier. But now I'm gonna share something with you that Randy shared with me. Um, you know, I, I have to forgive me a, a moment because I don't want to get emotional, but uh, I just want you to know that Randy was teaching um, up until he got so sick he couldn't. He and I were talking via Facebook Messenger uh, because he knew I was a printmaker and he knew that I was getting ready to do a workshop in my home state and that I was gonna do a, a workshop for this. So he was telling me about cove molding. Now some of you may know what that is. It's basically the rubber um, or vinyl trim that goes around a lot of times they're in bathrooms. Um, I'm just looking at my classroom, I have it in here. And they make it footed and unfooted. Now, here's the plus side. This uh, is a piece I cut off of a footed piece, so I had to cut, remove the foot. Um, so this wasn't very wide, but it's what I could pick up quickly at the store. I do have more, I just haven't brought it to my classroom. Um, that is, I bought a big roll of it footless. And when you break that down to the six by eight, we're talking like 95 cents a plate. That's right, 95 cents a plate. Suddenly, uh, linoleum block printing becomes so affordable. And it cuts, you'll see, this is actually a thinner piece than the um, cold, mold, cold sorry, cove molding I bought um, 
to to use um, as the larger size. So th this stuff is a little bit thinner, but this you can go to like Lowe's, um, Home Depot, and you can literally get a sheet for about um, four, I think it was like $4.99, um, might have been even $3.99, but it, it has the foot. So again, you could trim that, but you are getting kind of small. When you get the footless, um, and you can check with your local hardware stores, um, even local contractors might have footless or even scraps of this that they could give to you, but it um, can go about six inches. Uh, six inches is about as wide as you can go. But then I bought, I believe it was 120 feet. Um, so I can make a lot of plates. <laughs> uh, the printmaking workshop I did for Kansas uh, here recently this summer, um, we used it and it cuts like butter. So it cuts a lot like this more soft cut stuff. You can see that in comparison, this is a little thinner, um, but not, not much. And it still, it prints just like a linoleum. Um, I will make sure I throw in a um, picture of the test print I, I did of this on here. You will see I gouged my plate. Uh, this is not uncommon with me. I get, I, I love lines and as a printmaker, um, you become a little line obsessive. And I also find blocks beautiful. So um, I, you know, I, where I can get um, nice lines and things without over inking the line by not going very deep. When you get that, that deep kind of gouge in there, it's just a different color and a color play. And so uh, once in a while I gouge my plate. Um, especially if I've been out of practice for a while. Uh, but you can see that uh, it cleaned up really well. Um, I like to use oil-based inks. So um, uh, this has to clean a turpentine. Uh, this is a vinyl. So again, when we're talking under a dollar, that really, really, really makes this much more affordable to do in the classroom. Once you have your uh, linoleum cutters, that is a very large expense, um, mainly the handles. The, the bits are really not that bad. Um, if they're taken care of well, they, they stay very sharp for quite a long time. I would recommend having bench hooks or having bench hooks made uh, for your classroom. But um, the, they, they go for a while. And if you just put, like a, I know I've heard people before, like they get rusty, things like that. Just take a, uh, think of it like a yearly maintenance. Um, like I have to, I wash, I throw all my scissors every year through our commercial dishwasher here at school. Um, and then I WD-40 them and lay them out um, over the summer. Uh, so that's some of my yearly maintenance. And then I go and I, I cut with them on um, tinfoil at the beginning of the year, because uh, that sharpens scissors, fun fact. So anyway, um, you know, if you take a, uh, like a cotton swab or a um, Q-tip, and use a little bit of mineral oil on it, that will help with your, your rusting issue to, to make sure that doesn't happen. But again, the, the tips are not that bad. So do think about cove molding. Um, I will see too about maybe having a little handout that we can uh, link to as well so you have that written down and, and what that can look like to where you can purchase it um, to help out your classroom. But uh, got a shout out to Randy for that one because this was all him and um, he got to see this halfway done uh, before we lost him. And so I was really excited and I made sure to share with his family that he had um, helped me out uh, immensely um, about th three weeks before he, he was gone. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Please shout out. I love printmaking. Um, I'm really an Intaglio printmaker, but uh, block printing is my next love, and I can talk about it all until I'm blue in the face. So feel free to shout out to me at any time. I uh, will be happy to help you out, and if I don't know the answer, I will find you someone who does.